Hey everyone, it's me Dennis. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about something a little bit more different. I want to talk about the bugs and glitches of some of the broken um, Star Stable horses. There are two posts on Instagram by Abby Springrain. All the credits are going to go to them. The thing is that Star Stable has some issues in the game. And um, I'm only making this video because I would like Star Stable to see this video. Um, I'm really hoping I'm going to reach out to Star Stable with this video. And I hope you guys are going to help me with that by sharing this video or tagging Star Stable somehow on Instagram or I don't know. Because I spend so much money in this game. As you guys know, I always buy horses. I spend so much money in this game. And I want the horses to look at least decent. And um, I'm not going to be hard on Star Stable or whatever. Because, you know, there are people at the end of the day. There are people trying to program and trying to create um, this game. Which is not easy, of course. But um, that doesn't mean I can't ask for something. And what I'm asking is for a little change from Star Stable. I want them to fix these horses because I spent so much money on them and I want them to look somewhat decent. Some of these bugs actually came after the horses have been released, which means that, for example, if I bought a Trekkener two months ago, it got glitched. So, like, I spent money on something and then it got literally ruined two months later and um, you can't really refund your money in Star Stable. You can't get your Star Coins back, right? So anyways, let's just, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm just gonna go on Instagram and show you guys some of the flaws and glitches that these horses have and that Star Stable could fix. And I really hope Star Stable would fix that because we're a community and we need to communicate and help Star Stable improve the game. And I hope they're open to hearing feedback and constructive criticism and take it in mind and actually do something about it, not just ignore us completely. So let's just go to Instagram. So Abby Spring Rain is the owner of these pictures. Let's talk about the broken Star Stable horses. Please share this as much as you can. Tag Star Stable, tag ambassadors. We need justice for horses. Yeah, especially because most of us already bought them when they were good. That is so true. So first of all, wow, they already look... I know all these bugs already. Like, this is nothing new to me. First of all, we got the Trekkener horse. The Trekkener got released in August 2018. A few months ago, Star Stable decided to change and break every gate. That is so true. The walk is stiff, no neck movement at all. Same goes with the trot, no neck movement. The slow gallop has a weird leg movement, plus the tail is moving reversed. That's really creepy. In the fast gallop, the Trekner has again a stiff neck and almost breaks all of his feet. We are waiting for months for Star Stable to fix this breed. Everybody likes the normal original Trekner gates. Man, the Trekner horse is so beautiful. I've always liked these horses, but I cannot ride them because they look so weird when they when they walk, when they run, when they canter. They just look broken. Star Stable, please do something about the, the gates. Then we have the starter horse. I know I made a video, um, I actually went in photo mode right when the leg was like that, bended like that, I was like, what is happening? Our beloved starter horse has a broken leg in the fastest jump since it got released in November 2018. Star Stable still didn't see it as a problem, but as it's our beloved starter, I do see a problem with it. I don't want my starter to break his leg in the jump, please fix it, Star Stable. Now, that's a huge issue, the leg looks really messed up. I don't like the starter horses, um, because, I mean, I don't like my starter horse. I'm that kind of a person, I'm that kind of a player. Um, but I do like the RV Born Bloods, you know, the, they're nice. But the starter horse, it looks uh, not my fave, you know what I mean? But yeah, Star Stable ne needs to fix that. Whether or not I like the starter horse or not, that's my personal issue. Star Stable has to fix that because it looks really weird. The next one is the Kanamoras. In today's update, September 2020, Star Stable broke the Kanamora jump. In the fastest gallop, if you want to jump, the Kanamora freezes for a second, jumps, and then freezes again after the jump, which makes it impossible to ride races or championships. Please fix this, Star Stable. I, I need to try that out, I didn't know that. Last but not least, we got the Jorvik starter pony. I know this bug, it's so annoying. It looks really creepy. For a few months, the mane is sticking to its face, no matter what you do. Star Stable knows about it like all the other broken horses, but didn't fix it yet. Please fix this, Star Stable. I wonder if it's really that hard. I think the easiest bug out of all these to fix, I think, is the pony, because literally just the hair stuck to its face, you know? That's literally the easiest thing, like... And they still haven't done anything about it. Maybe, they, maybe they're gonna do something about it, you know? I'm not being hard on Star Stable. Maybe they're gonna do something about it, I don't know. Um, okay, let's look at the... at the Trakiner. It looks so sad. It looks like it has scoliosis. I have scoliosis. Wow, it looks so bended. Yep, messed up. It's really messed up. 
It looks really sad, the way it's walking. It looks like it has, like, back pain or back issues. Like, back problems. The next one is the starter horse. Or the Yorvik Born Blood. So when he jumps, I know this bug. Yep, look at the leg. Yeah, that's really weird. This bug's been here for so long. Like, so long. Yeah. Okay, next one we have the Kanamara horse. Whoa. The way it just stops after jumping for a few for like a few milliseconds. That is Wow, that is so messed up. You literally can't win any champs with that horse anyway. Yeah, that's really weird. I didn't know Star Stable ruined Kanamara horses in one of the September updates of twenty twenty. Then we have the Yuri Pony, yeah the it looks really weird, man. Look at the hair. Yep, that's really messed up. Okay. The next one. Let's talk about the Broken Horses Part 2. Since all of you made me aware of two other horses that are major broken, I wanted to share a second part, Star Stable. Please share this as much as you can. Yep, please share my video to you guys if you want Star Stable to see this video. Um, or go on Abby Spring Grain's Instagram and tag Star Stable in the comments. That will definitely work too. The Lusitano. The Lusitano has a few issues. In the slow gallop, the right hind leg bends way too much, almost stretching it completely, which looks very unnatural and glitchy. It's also not their original slow gallop animation, it's the Andalusian slow gallop, which doesn't fit and doesn't belong to the Lusitano, which also causes another issue, the mane sticking inside of its neck. The third issue the Lusitano has is that in the two fastest gallop animations, the back legs stretch in the wrong direction, which causes very weird looking broken back legs in the jump. <laughs> they look so creepy, this creeps me out, look at the legs, it's really messed up. And also here, they look weird. And the next one is the North Swedish horse. I know for a fact that it's been at least a few months that this issue exists. In the canter and slow gallop, if you jump, the neck stays in a very unnatural position. It sticks in the air, over bending, and when landing, it snaps back like it broke its neck. The second issue, the mane sticking to its face. It only happens in the idle animation, but it still looks weird. One strand sticks to the forehead and stays like that until you move again. Well, I didn't know that. I don't really... I don't have a North Swedish horse, I think. I'm pretty sure I don't have a North Swedish horse. So I didn't know that. I know that there are a few more horses that repeat, for example, their idle animations endless. All the generation two horses. The Welsh ponies are either glitching, the jump of the quarter is broken. That is so true. The jump of the quarter horse. I made a video about that. I'm so angry still about it. Because you guys know how much I love the old quarter horses when we didn't have the new ones. The new model of the quarter horses. And I made a video about it and some people were so upset they would not see the difference how Star Stable broke their jump. And they would say that it's fair, because now all horses have the same speed, but that, that was not correct, because they only changed the jump of the quarter horses, but they didn't change the jump of the American paint horses, and they're literally the same mold, it's just a different breed. I'm talking about the old quarter horse with the old American paint horse. I mean, we don't have a new American paint horse yet, but you know what I mean. The Frisian mouth is glitching while rearing, but I don't think Star Stable will ever fix those issues, as they are a generation 2 horses. In my opinion, they should definitely fix the major issues on the Generation 3 horses, as they are in the newest and updated breeds, and in my opinion, they should not have those major issues. That's so true. That is so true. Okay, let's look at the videos. Whoa, look at the back leg. Whoa, I never noticed that. Dude, it looks so weird. When did Star Stable ruin these horses, though? Like, and why? I don't understand. Whoa, the the back legs, they look so creepy, dude. Yeah, they look really messed up. Okay, the next one is the North Swedish horse. Whoa, the neck. That piece of hair is so annoying. Looks like a little worm. It looks like a natural worm. Yeah, so these are some major issues we have um, in the game. I would really like if Star Stable would change these things. For example, I really love the Lusitano horses, the Trakner horses. I really love these horses, and I wish they never were broken like that, but they are. And um, there's nothing we can do about it, but just 
make Star Stable aware, make the community aware. I'm making this video to raise awareness in a way, to make the players aware of these issues so that they would tag Star Stable and um, motivate them to change these things. I'm not making this video to hate on Star Stable, guys. I, I'm really not making this video to hate or bash on Star Stable. All I'm doing is making, um, trying to reach to Star Stable through this video and through you guys. So that they would fix these things because we don't want to buy horses that are broken and the problem is that i bought the lusitano horses and tracking horses when they were okay when they were normal and when they were not broken and now they're broken and i spent so much money on them and i just can't ride those horses literally like the tracking horse i cannot ride that horse it looks so weird when it just starts running and whatever the, the gates are all ruined of the tracking horse and it's really upsetting because i really like that horse all the credits go to abby spring rain from instagram if you guys want to go follow her on instagram go ahead um, that's her footage, everything I just showed from Instagram. I'm sure there are more glitches in the game, but these are just some major issues that we have in the game and we should not have them anymore. Star Stable has been adding a lot of new horses recently and not fixing the old horses. I mean, not old, they're not old. These are Generation 3 horses, like the Lusitano and the North Swedish horse and the Dragoner horse. They're all Generation 3 horses. And Star Stable is releasing new horses and new horse breeds instead of actually fixing the horses they broke, which doesn't make sense to me, but that's again just my subjective and personal opinion and um yeah i don't know uh, maybe star stable is unaware of these things but i don't think so i think they're very aware of them but they're just maybe maybe don't i can't make assumptions i literally can't make assumptions being that would be unwise of me to make assumptions and be like oh maybe just they're lazy they don't have time i can't i don't know what's happening in their in their little workspace you know i can't make assumptions i'm not there i have no idea but um all i can do is just raise awareness tag star stable and hope that they will actually do something about it and I encourage you guys to do that too and um, speak in love and not only to Star Stable. This took a different turn. I was not expecting this. But honestly, if you want someone to receive something from you, say things in love and through love. Because, for example, if you're right in a situation, if you're having a fight with someone and you know for sure that you're right, if you're going to tell them the truth in a very blunt way, an aggressive way, they will not receive it. They will raise these walls, these walls of defense, and they will not receive the truth just because the way you're saying it is very aggressive and they feel the need to defend themselves. So if we if we talk in love and if we want to change a person because you love them and you care about their own good, then speak to them in love. We should be grounded in love and speak only through love. And I'm sure that I'm sure that things are going to change for the better. And also, yeah, I'm saying this because we should not hate on Source Table. And I know I've been in the past, I've been a bit rough, maybe like blunt with Source Table and the way that I've been giving feedback maybe it didn't sound like criticism feedback it maybe sounded just like criticism which i'm sorry about that and um i'm working with that i'm trying to work for myself and become better and better just don't be aggressive don't bash on source table don't insult them and stuff because that's really unwise and they're not going to do anything about it if you're going to be like that so i'm saying this because i want you guys to talk to source table in a nice way and not insult them and be like hey source table i spent so much money in this game and you ruined my horses like that's just don't do that you know they will not receive that message if you're going to be like that anyway that was it. I didn't expect um, for this little motivational speech to happen, but anyway. Um, I love you guys so much. These are the channel members of this month. If you would like to be a channel member, then there's a join button, you the subscribe button, and you can join and we can have fun together, and you can see all the perks right there. Please subscribe, like this video, ring the bell so that way you get notified when I post a new video, and um, see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>